It, but the, oh, seems I forgot something, so give me a second on that. <laughs> hey, you mean that's not your costume? Uh, yeah, I'm guessing my costume is that I'm invisible. <laughs> yeah, okay. The invisible uh, man. Uh, why is the... uh, oh, it's I me, see what's going on here. King of the Mighty, along with Captain <laughs> Alien. <laughs> Give me a sec on this because Borderless Gaming is being <laughs> dumb. Hey, come on, show. Of course. Okay, need to exit the game for a bit. Okay, I thought I turned this off. Uh, with Borderless Gaming, there's an option to have something be on the foreground no matter what, similar to uh, Windows Task Manager and such. Uh, but I thought I turned that off on all games, but apparently that was still at that one. So here we go. Mm. All right, there, there. Now, uh, let me just double check. Uh, Count Lucanor, yep. Turn off always on top. And there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the Count Lucanor for the third stream of this game. And, yeah. And of course, I make the mistake of closing Borderless Gaming instead of hiding it so it's does so <laughs> the game doesn't get put into the right place. And, yeah. Welcome back to the Count Lucanor for the third and probably last time, because I think we've seen basically everything that this game has, or most of this, that this game has to offer. So, yeah, we're going to use the hint we got from last time from uh, the Magic Mirror to check... Uh, <clears throat> to see if we can get any more info on the Kobold's name. But if we can't... Uh, let's see, yeah, the, the, light, what, the tip he gave is that the... The lights at the windows up top show which of the upper rooms are in use. So all but the first, going from left to right, are in use at the moment. Uh, do we have the key here? We have the key. We have all of the keys on this. Uh, wait, isn't this the safe where we already... Yeah, this is the safe where we already have all of these. Yep. So, so this is the wrong save then. Yeah, let's still go take a look and see if we can listen in on at least something. Or, wait, is... Oh, is the... I think I might have realized something. Like, one, two, and then that one's stuck on that la on that three. They're lit up because we lit these up. I think. Okay, well, let's load soul. And let's see, Denebrae Castle Gardens. I think this is from the showcase. So this might be far enough back that we haven't gotten to it. Let's see. Yeah, we have, we, yeah, we got at least one letter. Okay. Now we know some places where we can get coins. Enough to get the gold coin and uh, gold key so we can actually go, well, listen in and yeah at the moment all three of those are lit up are is that because of we lit them up or something else to get the most of this we probably should uh, wait mm. this one we don't have the golden key yeah but we can at least look to see if they that's because the if we've lit the lights up or not and i think it might be or maybe at least we can no, we can't listen in at the door. Hmm. Unless we're supposed to hide inside behind the curtains as such. Probably. Hmm. I would say we should load to the one that we actually have the golden key. Otherwise, we spend a lot of time to try to get the damn coins again. I, we didn't make a save after we got the key, I think. Like, here we have one letter. And one of those. Hmm. I did, did a save. Apparently not. No. Let's have a look around. Also, I I looked up a little bit without well, with with only one spoiler. And 
yeah, apparently there are five endings to the game. So we're not going until we get... Uh, <laughs> we're not going to get all game uh, endings. We're just going to go until we get a ending. Yeah. And yeah, if, if we just get stuck at like the hour mark or something, then I say we just look up the name and go from there and see what we get from that. And we already have yeah. a save where we have all 10 possible letters. Mm. Like, I like this game, but even I will admit it can be, but it's supposed to be short. It can quickly become very long just to try and fix all the trial errors. Yeah. This is probably not a fun stream to watch. Okay, we have this one where you can get some coin. And yeah, if we... Yeah, when we get an ending, I say we just look up a video of the other endings. Okay. Would it there. be better for people to look it up themselves in this case? Mm, I, do, I do want to see what the other endings are. Two coins. You serve a curious, all right. I, I am, I would be too. I, I, I usually end up looking at those up on YouTube anyway. Yeah. Okay. So that's two coins. It's and yeah, now she has spawned. Uh, you know the term uh, when people say, uh, can you Google it? Yeah. I don't do that. I do something else. What, then? You YouTube it? Yes. <laughs> okay. It's almost more practical in some ways. Let's, let's leave some of these around still, since, well... Uh, even though the servants are rather, are rather slow and not fast enough to catch up with us. I think it will still be a good idea to uh yeah, keep somewhat of an eye of them so we don't so we know if we need to completely turn around on something or not. Also, we'll definitely want to see when one is hiding in there. One over here for the donkey. Hmm. I think you'll need quite a bit of trial work uh, to uh, try and guess in what order you need to get things to have the best results. Hello, Marco. <laughs> I've come to get spooked. Okay. Hello, Marco! Green key. And the snake ring. Now, let's have a little, ourselves a little peek. Okay, that one is lit now and yeah welcome back to uh, the count lucanor uh, marker where i'm i want to unless things really get out of hand i want to be done with this game today because yeah apparently there are five endings in total and yeah i don't want to play through this game continuously trying to get <clears throat> trying to get uh, the other endings yeah I feel like when we, when I said we, yeah, when I said we put this on a booktuber list, I feel like we mentioned we should do a bit of research. But we, we saw, all right, to us, we call it, we put it on list. From list, we should have done more research. Like, yes, it may take two hours, but there's a lot of trial and error. Yeah, and again, how long to beat isn't too accurate on things so yeah we're just going to we're just going to try and find 10 coins quick so we can get the gold key and then we can use the hint that the magic mirror gave us that is that we should listen in on uh yeah something in the upper chambers like we have three at the moment we should be able to get this a bunch more through here there and there. 
Uh, yeah, there's five coins in the room that we're about to enter. There. Okay. Yeah, it said something about where the cobalt's room is. What? Yeah, this was a bad idea. Yeah, why did you do that? Then I wanted to. I think the time, the passage of time, is linked to the door somewhere. And well, wait, is this back to? Yes, it is back to the the most recent save. Okay. Back here. Okay, so the cutscenes that we need to trigger at the moment are to get up here. Uh, yeah. Let's see, Marco, damn my Wi-Fi, I've been downloading nightly stream because I missed, so I can watch it later, but it's been an hour and the file is still downloading and has reached a total size of 7.35 gigabytes. That's quite a lot, yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Do we even need to get it to the, the kobolds to have the adventurer or treasure hunter appear? Though I don't think we can actually... We don't actually need to interact with her, since... Hmm. Also, this is actually not needed. The mirror is needed for getting the hint, but we already know the hint. Now, I, re I really should see, or just look up, what actions actually progress time in this game. Correction, two hours. Okay, still uh, not good. <laughs> Let's see, I can actually just look up the TV tropes of this game right now and see what happens with that. Okay, there's that in there. That in there. Okay. Two coins. Hmm. Okay, search. TV tropes. Count Lucanor. There. Okay, this should spoiler any of the really important stuff. Okay. Also, I think I now realize why the mirror said that it's too late for the hint. Because we already lit all of the the fire things on the outside, so we wouldn't be able to see which rooms are active and not. Ooh. Okay. Now then, let's see. Is the witch here already? No, she is not. Okay, so we don't have access to the green key. Okay. Hmm. I probably should keep some notes as to which rooms are which and which have what in it and such. Hmm. And someone's launching fireworks. Okay. Uh, let's see. What? Hello, Helian. We have been trying to reach you about your ship's extended warranty. <laughs> no, you're not, because uh, my ship isn't insured, as any pirate ship should be. Actually, now that I think about it, how would you even... Have... Well, we played over Din, which is a game all about uh, insurance. Yeah, but that's not a pirate ship. True. How would... What would even be done with that uh, for insurance if your ship gets stolen by pirates? Hmm. Well, you, you would definitely need to have some form of confirmation that it was stolen pirate and not sunken or something. Actually, let me check. I... Okay, it's now... 2.40 about? What is now 
if we walk in here and you have the cutscene with the kobold. Skip through all of this. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that did not pass time. Hmm. Okay, does talking with her cause time to pass? Yeah, I, I think this game would probably be more fun to try and figure out if it weren't for the fact that, well, we are technically on a soft time limit since, well, we're streaming and that, okay, that caused her to appear. And yeah, that did not cause time to pass. But yeah, mm -hmm. I, mean, as, as, uh, I did measure this to Hina before. For, I, I'm, I will be okay with any enemy we get. Since, yeah. Had this been a regular YouTube video, people would have taken time to try and do things correctly. But for a stream? Yeah, it's, we are kind of limited on the time that we have patience for with this game. Because we. We yeah. could, not saying that this game is bad or anything, but there could be there are other games that we could be streaming that could be a lot more fun to stream, like say Day of the Diver, which has new content added. Yeah, like I like this game and all that, but uh, I, I agree here. Like I don't think it's well suited for streaming. Like it's not, I don't think it's boring. Just it can quickly get repetitive. Hmm. I can't tell if the Especially clock is slowly moving. Yeah, and there's a lot of these things we don't know. We probably almost would need a lot of time. Yeah, I, I, I'd say this game <laughs> leans more towards puzzle game than actual survival horror stuff. I think they take a, take a survival puzzle route, or survival horror puzzle route. Yeah. Survival uh, horror puzzle. Uh, did did the essay say something else? Did I brush or something? Uh, what I mean is with typical survival horror games, you have, well, the puzzles that you need to get through, but to even get to an ending, we had the entire game is basically a bi one big puzzle. And that's yeah, what's does... being annoying with everything. Like, it is known that with survival horror games that you can work yourself into a corner by if you're being wasteful with your resources, but this is more that the game punishes you if you're wasteful with time without actively telling you that. Yeah, and that's the problem. And why it's uh, kind of make it bad to stream, like, again, if it's a regular YouTube video, we have all the time to make the video. Yeah. Cut out all the repetitiveness and all that. Let's but see, we stream, need two more. With stream, everything will be live. Honestly, we have a very good guide. Which I feel we should probably should have used it from the beginning. Yeah, that would have cut. That that would have killed some of the early tension. Like we know what the game's tricks are now. Also, did time oh, yeah. pass? Okay, the goat herder isn't here yet, but time did pass. And hmm. another night up the house moved. Yeah. There's also that chest there. We haven't seen anything anywhere about uh, about a, uh, a three-digit code. Yeah, it confuses me. There. Here we go. Now we get ourselves some shitty gold, and we go get the key. Hmm. In the worst case scenario, we are not going to get anything or not too much useful out of the stuff that we're supposed to overhear from there. 
Yeah, that one is still yeah, active. Okay, did we light up <laughs> one of the lights up there before we made a save or anything? Because that would kind of ruin everything. Hmm. Yeah, worst case scenario, we'll have to go back to the start of the game. Are you sure there's another thing that kind of makes it a little annoying? Just to save, we need to pay a coin. Yeah, that's part of this survival horror stuff. Yep. Okay, are we supposed to be able to listen in on something now? Or... Are we in the right room? It... We need to be in the Nidra's room. <laughs> okay, at least they're dumb enough to forget we're here. When these get close. It, unless the attack is ongoing, that is. Uh, also, question: What is that rat ha rat hat guy? No clue, but they are more intelligent than the servants. Hmm. Yeah, and disturbing. It's okay. See, it. nothing there. Okay, as long as we don't, if we don't end up in front of them. Hmm. We're in a line with them. We can't, we won't get hit. Hmm. Okay, so that absolutely gave us nothing. What is, and what is this hint supposed to be for? Hmm. Are we supposed to overhear him? Let's see, just looking, glancing through the TV tropes for any hints or such. Hmm. I'm not going to light any of these. Like, I don't. Hmm. Like, we need to speak with him and all that. Yeah, it makes sense that they... That we'd need to get the mirror and hand it over first before the hint actually becomes useful to avoid... Uh, what is it called again? Uh, sequence break? Yeah, sequence breaking. We can, yeah, we can do easily now by just getting in here, getting the mirror. Yeah, it, 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 it may be made so you don't need to get the clue without the, him telling you, but we don't know that. We don't know how to program we, the game, so... We already have it. Maybe and sorry. Oh, okay. Is it... Is it... Mm, maybe... This could count a bit as a spoiler, I guess, but apparently we are... We can listen in on the kobold here, according to Tweet Tropes, when the kobold is in here. You'll just have to see if... Uh, yeah, when the fourth window is open or lit to know when he's up here. Uh, yeah, I already gave you. Mm -hmm. There. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I'll give you the clue, pay attention. You can tell when a room upstairs is in use from the lights on the doors. Uh, you can also see them from the central gardens. Lights will change over the night and they can't tell you anything else. Okay, so basically we have to keep going, passing time, 
until this lamp lights up. And yes, I'm just going to call them lamps for now. Just not have to spend more brain uh, power on that. Richard. Okay. So yeah, after everything we do now, we need to go over here to see when the window is lit up. And definitely not light them up ourselves. So we go through the rooms that we can one by one, get the letters, and progress time. Okay. Because grabbing a letter is definitely going to progress time. So let's see. Push. Hmm. Okay. Pull that up already. That can easily be reset like this. Let's see. Need to push this one in here. That would normally block off the extra chest, but we already got the gold. There. Push this up, then push this one down, and there we go. Pull that. Okay. Yep. One of the letters. And then we just get out of here. Yep. This way. Because I just blocked off the other path. Okay. Okay, you've got a frog there now, all of a sudden. <laughs> Wait, that was audible? Yep. I didn't see that he's gonna fail. I thought I was able to choke it. Not the frog, I tried to choke the burp. I didn't try to muffle it. Okay, so all we care about right now is whether the fourth window is lit up. Everything else is... Uh, Better lit up here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Everything else is useless to us at the moment. Now, the only reason that I'm going in here, even though we lack the water and we need to, well, douse the flames, is because of the shortcuts in the corner. Okay. This bit is kind of a bit of hopeful, hoping for if the flames are going to be kind. And there. Yeah. Oh, is that it? At least this time we knew how to solve the puzzles right away. Yeah, and that's kind of a thing with survival horrors that you aren't with mo well with with many of them you aren't supposed to uh, be able to f to win immediately in the first go. Uh, let's see, there's something over there. I forget what's in it. Uh, what was that? Did someone just sh me? <laughs> I know one of the barrels just burnt up and made a sound. Oh yeah, it's oh yeah, it was the barrel that bur got burnt. Okay. I didn't think that happened the last time we went uh, through here and moved that thing. Nice little detail. Okay. Now the shortcut is open. We go check the center. We basically every time we exit a room now, we go to the center. To check on things, no matter what, no matter what's how small of a thing it is, even. Yeah. Every time we get into the hallway, we check. Now, almost time for the servants to come out. Okay, what was this one again? Yeah, this was just dodged the obvious traps. Though obviously they weren't too obvious, or not obvious enough for some people here. And yeah, once we get the board from the maze, we can get to that chest on the left here. Okay. 
And this is going to progress time for the servants to come out. Or start coming out. There's a stone to get a resistance to the spicy Doritos. Okay. Yeah, that, that is what happens when you eat something over and over. Yeah, by that, I mean, I'm less snivelly than before. Usually, <laughs> usually by now, when I'm finished eating, I will usually need to, uh, well, first off, clean my hands. Well, one hmm. hand. Okay, getting a little bit in progress time. It's snivelly. I, I don't think I've heard that word really that much since... Uh, the uh, Dick Dastardly Sides uh, cartoon, Catch That Pigeon. I hear it occasionally. Like when someone say, you sniveling bastard. <laughs> Actually, let me test something. We just got in, we just went into a new room. So if we get, uh, oh yeah, it's entering the rooms that passes time. Okay, none are occupied. Okay, so entering chambers, it's what causes it to happen. Okay. Hmm. Still need to be careful near these guys. Hmm? Uh, at the windows? Yep. Yeah, none, none of them were lit up. Hmm. All right. Just the double check. Yeah, might as well double check so we not to... Yeah, none of them are lit up. Okay. For some reason, the controls don't continue on when we cross over in or out of the courtyard. Okay. We about know how to get around here. Yeah, I just realized. How many puzzles can we do without before talking to the pink haired one? Hmm. I would not be surprised if that's an actual recommended tactic. I would not be surprised. Maybe. Uh, let's see. It's going to go right each time. Because I think that's how we get to the switch to... Yep. There. Oh, now we just go find the board. Or, or they supposed to be something else? Yeah, there's, there's spears uh, hidden there. Uh, okay. Wait, that shape. Uh oh. <clears throat> Might be something worse than spears. Oh, first this bit. Sorry that way still hurts. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting to the entrances now. Okay. And there's the boards, okay. Only missing the sword. Yes, that was a pun. Is sword and board typical fighter play style? Yep. And actually, I was the relation board the other day, and he actually got confused. I wondered, <laughs> what the heck is it called sword and board? Yeah, because basically anything can serve as a shield, even while a little bit boards. Uh, I still wonder as well how that term came about. Sword and board. Do Sword and board does also rhyme. True. So that's it likely could be it. Just that. Uh, and what, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the fact that it also that it rhymes also probably helps. And well, figured out we could outsmart the spear trap with guarding that box. And of course, it's it's only one coin. Hey there. Okay. But yeah, now, now that we now that we've also learned that the people who made this went on to make Yuppie Psycho, it does make sense with some of the things that we see. Because I think I, I think Yuppie Psycho is less obnoxious with its stuff, as in you don't uh, the the points where 
it's there's not time limited stuff or action limited stuff i think would be more accurate perhaps uh, but there are still choices that you can make that affects whether you uh, to, that affects what uh, ending you get the fact that this one is time bound or time slash action bound does make it more annoying to play through since there's a lot of repeat stuff going on with yuppie psycho you can get through and yeah i believe basically gets to the ending or depending on your choices not that you well you would still need to play through the entire game but you would know what choices you do should do affect things to, to uh yeah to which ending you'll get it's not guesswork in okay now i'll need to do this now i'll need to do that it is also a lot more of a linear game which does help with that whereas this one is a lot more open-ended which yeah yeah both no, have their this... strongs and uh, weaknesses or strengths and weaknesses yeah if this game came first before the other one i would not be surprised if they used the lesson from this one when they made the other one yeah no lights, so no dice on listening in. Like, I don't hate time games, but I have seen many that it can kind of feel a bit bullshitty. Yeah. Or actually just drain a lot, out a lot of fun for you feel like you're almost stressed non stop. And I've played some games with that did the rule. That you are within a time limit in a rather way, a good way. Like, I mean, one of the Artillery Year games I have did really well. I have two of them. <laughs> and one of them I did really well, but the other one. Oh boy, that one was a struggle. Uh, you mean. Uh, Not the new uh, one. Atelier, with the main character is an alchemist called Rice or something like that? Oh, there's several games, there's several. And each yeah. of them are named after the main character. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I learned of them through uh, the crossover event they had with Azur Lane. Oh. And I am, in, I am a bit interested in uh, those games, but they are rather... You know, they're, <laughs> even when discounted, they seem to be like 30 bucks each. I actually bought them on discount. Okay, let's see. I bought see. them for free. <laughs> Physical copies. Let's see. Yep. Just two coins. Oh, I've got a mysterious clue. When the time figures look at each other, light is shed on the keeper's room. I haven't managed to unravel the, its, the meaning. Okay. Oh, keeping this. An interesting note. Find JF's most interesting note. <laughs> okay. And oh, the, the timekeepers, the uh, the figures of the in the wall next to the clock. Check Let's which see. One I have. Uh... Let's have a see. Yeah, when those two are looking at each other, it means. Okay. Hmm. Now, what else can we do to pass time? Also, let me chat with the merchant now that there's only two visitors. Have you ever stolen anything? Well, yeah, I stole once some candy from the store. So you're a thief. I should tell the castle guards so they take you prisoner. Please don't tell them. All right, I won't tell anyone. That'll be our little secret. When I was your age, I used to raid the tombs with my father. The best thing was to find the golden teeth those filthy rich men had. <laughs> okay. So we'll need to get into at least one other place for time to move on. We've got this one already. Leaving that there so I can see that it's, it's been cleared. Okay, this is the library where the reds... Uh, guy is. I can hear a servant. Okay, let's head in here. Ah, right. Hmm. 
There might be something actually useful hidden in here. Atelier Rurona Plus and Atelier Sutori. Okay. Sutori was the one I struggled with. So that one, the 10 was one, and I got it for like. Hmm. Yeah, I for like, uh, I guess, under 25 euros. The other one, oh, the other one was not for. Uh, the other one I got, I got the pay around for uh, 40 euros for. Hmm. I looked around 40 euro one uh, that was more fun and just <laughs> more relaxing. Even even it had even with its time limit, it was actually more relaxing than the other one. Okay. Yeah, um... I got them because something had happened with my PS4. It took them two weeks to fix it, and all of a sudden, there was nothing wrong. Only needed some dust, dust cleaning. It basically means. Whatever I did was on my own self. Uh, I should have just let it rest for one hour, but I was too impatient and did a few things. This led to me losing saves. Okay. It's also the it did lead, lead to why I finished Cyber Sleuth two times. Two gold coins. Okay, if we pull the third lever here, then the goat gets unleashed. He meant unleashed. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it, hell. It's certain combinations that has them come... Okay, at least it got itself stuck. There we go. Okay, so... Hmm. I want to see what's in the first one. It's a lot of blood there. What the heck do you think is there? Nothing too good, but at least as long as we can dodge the goats. Whatever it is supposed to be. Okay, there's nothing good in here, literally. Okay. Okay, the goat was vibing for a moment. Eat that. Yeah, now we have to be careful for... We want to avoid dying as much as possible now. Yeah, actually... Mm. Let's let the servant pass by first. Okay, you've got better sight than others. And that was enough for the this one to arrive, okay. Yeah, ta -da -da -da. yeah. Red key and the crowbar, which uh, TV trope says without actually spoiling things that the crowbar is needed for the best ending. How or why? Yeah, that I have no idea. We'll wait, probably wait, see. Check the windows. Uh, uh, give me that. Yeah, let's check the windows. And... Oh... Uh, but they had no even sure if we dare to save, even. Okay, now the, f the first is in use. When the two figures in the wall look towards each other, then is when the kobold is supposed to be in their room. All right, and... Hmm... Only want to save, but... Now we have eight coins, so we should, we can go save. This probably would be a good idea. Uh, let's say for Marco, the donkey <laughs> is an ET. Uh, um. Yeah. <laughs> Another two coins. The only thing we need gold for anymore is the corn. And uh, like. saves. So yeah, we can go get the corn to trap the jackass. Mm, high heels is here. Yep, there he is. Okay, then he moves, if I remember his pattern correctly, uh, 
Okay, I thought he was supposed to go to his table there. Okay, is he is he following a different pattern? Okay, he checks the book, then he checks the chest. Hmm. Okay, putting that there. Grabbing the extra candles. Okay. Now we wait here until he goes to check the chest again. I don't think there's anything else of value really in this room. <laughs> Who's high heels? Uh, Mr. Stompy Stomp here. Yeah. Well, high heels stood out uh, something as a men's fashion at first. But they were not as high heel as the ladies' shoes are nowadays. Quickly. Yoink. Okay, there's probably a thing or two in the cabinets, but uh, let's just GTFO before he figures out we stole the, <laughs> the letter. Yeah. And also, I have to say, whoever invented very high, just high, you know, unnecessary high heels is a lunatic. Yeah, we, I, we're, we're all questioning that, uh, Margo. You smug, ugly, and smell oink. What, Einstein? Eisbein? Is that you? How did you recognize me? Oink, because you're the only asshole who says oink after everything. Also, this is different. But what are you doing here? That wicked mother of mine is stressing me, alright? I just had enough of her. Oink, darn mothers. Yeah, my mother can stress me sometimes, but she's usually nice to me. Eating her eyes would be nice. Oink. Alright, you just continue to stink up the place underneath there. Yep. Alright, there's the... Uh, there's the letter in here. Luckily, the goat isn't actually aggroed on us at the moment. There we go. Hmm. Have you already got the bucket? Oh. <laughs> Bad timing. Also bad timing. No! Okay, at Oof. least they don't have 360 degree vision. Okay, since we oh. entered a new room, the library, time should have progressed, so... Is it time to go listen in on the kobolds? No. Wait, we should save them. Yeah. Or if we were to die now... There. Bucket of water. Coin. That bad timing should be clipped. The what bad? Oh, you, you could do that, Marco. Okay. Is thing. We want to be saving, be careful of how we say, but at the same time. Yeah, if we were to, if we die there now, yeah, that it would have been, been a like, lot of progress lost. Yeah, about almost an hour. This is probably more reason why we sh this we just gonna pick one ending since. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's the best ending. Maybe it's not. That was a waste of time to go in there. Yeah, for, again, it's a good game. Just. Not well suited for streaming. Yeah, it's but more for lost. yeah, more for playing every so often on your own time to try and figure things out. Yeah, uh, yeah, or at least or like more for like a YouTube video where you can cut out a lot of this uh... extra unnecessary stuff. Yeah, exactly. Since let's be honest. I'm into. I don't think many people enjoy. Not even the YouTube themselves enjoy. I'm going to redo things over and over. And then force others to see them having to do the things over and over. 
Yeah, that's what editors are for, to cut out uh, the open air. Yeah, now you see what I mean, uh, that this is probably a game that's more suited for YouTube yeah, yeah, but... videos. Okay, I did not click to the left, to the right there. So yeah, that's why I say this is, game is better as a YouTube video than a stream video. There. It's putting out all the central areas, keeping only the corner pieces lit. Okay. Actually, now I realize we did another dumb because we could have just gone in through this again. <laughs> I just keep forgetting that this is here. Yeah, they are dumb not. Also, I'm kind of surprised they didn't put something into the tunnels to uh, try and jump scare you. Hill? Don't, 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 don't yinx it now, Hill. Don't yinx it. Okay, still not time. Let's see. Probably gonna probably gonna do it later if I remember. This trained better. N for no or N for number. Should we buy the corn in advance? Probably, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. There. Okay, that leaves us six extra for saves. And let's... we should have all keys now. There. Let's see, I don't think there's a red door on this side, or this on up, yeah, up here. There is one over down here, though. And I hope we didn't miss the time when the kobold is in his room. Okay. That should have progressed time, so let's double check. It does seem that get, opening the room, or going into new chambers, is the only thing that advances time. Oh, 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 hello, hello. Hello, hello. Perfect that I checked, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what the? Hello, Red Viper Serbia. Yeah, Red Viper Serbia. Hello and welcome to the chat. Or, yeah, to the stream. How are you doing today, huh? Uh, Greetings, my Falcon. Hello, Balkans, brothers and sisters. Uh, I'm not. F I'm oh, hello. Yep. <laughs> it's fucking on the wear. Uh, let's see. Dum da dee, dum da do. Oops, the room is in use. I hope not to disturb. Okay, he'll probably kill us if he finds us here, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah, my name you will not know. I'm not Otto, Klaus, or Frink. If I'm guessing, you won't win. I hope it isn't just going to me. If I were Italian, you wouldn't call me an an Antonio. E even if I were Italian. Because my yeah, na true name is indeed the one and great Patronio. Okay. We were so close then. Weren't we close last time? Actually, no. We were we were running. Actually, we were close, somewhat close at one point. But I was not using the O's at all. But I was somewhat right with uh, T uh, T R A P at the front. Yeah, okay. like, we, we were right in having the almost sound Latin-like. Problem is, yeah, we, we, we skipped out the O's badly. Now I know your name, Petronio. I guess I don't have to keep searching the castle for letters. I can go straight to the big hall and tell him the name. Okay. Problem is, though... Oh, hide and seek. Guess the kobold's name without using the letters. The problem is now, though, that he might figure out that we listened in on him with that. Or just one perfectly lucky guess. So I'm going to put in a save and see how he reacts. Wait, 
Can we even guess the name now? Yeah, we could, if we get enough of the letters and the right ones, we can still put them all in to guess them that way. But this is going to lead to a different ending, at the least. So, a save. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da, the uncreation. Uh, my bad, brother. Uh, if you really are Balkan, it's Kosovo, Serbia. Uh, also, I'm Croatian, so my, you're my neighbor. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm Dutch, and uh, Drakir there is Swedish. Uh, hey. <laughs> hmm? Yep, yep, I hey. misheard you there. For, <laughs> I thought hey. you said, I saw you said, hey, like insulted. No, no, I said, hey, as in hello. <laughs> That's no, not like what you feed horses. Hey. Hmm? Yep, oh. I've guessed your name. I'm listening. You're called Patrona I Patronio. Oh! Excuse me, sire, for I am speechless. I did uh, not tend to upset you, but if I may ask, how did you find out? Uh, it was really easy. You have one of those Patronio faces. <laughs> Anyhow, you have shown great ability for observation, sire. Congratulations are in order. This door leads straight to the private chambers of the Count. You may now walk through the door if you wish, sire. Okay. I think he's going to screw us over somehow anyways. Oh no. Totally not ominous. Uh, and uh, the theme kicks in. Sire, the Count Lucanor awaits beyond the door and he is eager to meet you. Oh, ouch, please mind your feet, Sire. This looks really bad. I better turn around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was expectable. And yeah, Yuppie Psycho has the same art style with this, now that I look at it again. The Carmen Lengo has told me you are not who you pretend to be. You are but a ragged child, with no peerage, nor money, nor a father. Did you expect that someone your kind, and someone your kind, could meet the most illustrious counts? Oh, hello. So, was that all a dream? Why is the kid even here? Because he ran away. Uh, what's with the butterfly? That hurt. What a hit. Okay, so that was just a dream. Class hallucination. What's all this blood? You, you've seen a, blood, a bunch of blood already, dumbass. Okay, the worms hurt. Wait, I thought it was an end. I thought it was an end as well. Um. Uh. Do you hear yeah, that? Those, yeah, those... Oh, please. Is anyone there? Is there anyone else down here? I'd say the voice came from there. Wait, a soldier's... Oh. Okay, so we Might can't that do that. his father? What have we here? It's a golden emblem. It has an engraved L inside. Lucanor. Okay, do we need to find two of those? Uh, sort of guessed that from the blood, it's a fucking mimic. Okay. Finally, someone has found me. Zoe, you're bleeding like a lot. Well, war was worse and I made it. Don't you worry, I'm fine. What's your name, boy? I'm Hans. 
Nice to meet you, Hans. I'm... Now, excuse me. I've been down here for that long. I can only remember my initials. You can just call me JF. Okay, we finally found the author. <clears throat> Pardon? Wait, he only remember his own initials, but he's not his own full... That's bad. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the reason why he ran away, Marco, was that uh, he was unhappy that uh, he and his mother were too poor to afford, well, anything for his 10th birthday. So yeah, he did the typical bratty child thing, ran away, uh, helped some people along the way. And when nightfall came, well, he found, he spotted the kobold and followed it in here. No problem. But what are you, what are you doing here? Do you remember that? Yes, I'm taking part in the Count's trials. Oh, me too. Well, I was. Actually, my goal is not fame nor wealth. I'm doing this for love. I like to marry Count Lucanor's daughter, Lucrenzia. That's a bummer. I think we both have failed. I don't see a way to escape this dungeon. On the contrary, mate. We're really close to escaping. This is the very last Count's trial. Is it? I'm sure. We're just a step away from victory. If we help each other, we'll make it. But how? You, have you seen those golden emblems on the wall? I've put those, uh, I've put those there, I'm think guessing. There's only one missing to open the door behind. Oh, so I just need to find the missing emblem, don't I? There's a thing, though. There are fake emblems in this dungeon. And how can I tell them apart? The only way is by placing them in the gap. If the mechanism is activated, then you've found the right one. Alright then, I'll try to find a missing golden emblem. Wait, my friend. Have this so we, it can, so we can save your soul. A gold coin. Thanks a lot! And mind the creatures down here. They've got poor eyesight, but they'll hunt you badly if they manage to get you. They'll hurt you badly if they manage to get you. Okay. Now that we need his coin, since we've got a, well, a bunch of them. Okay, when we look at that, that's a lot of gold coins. Leave gold, save soul. Alright, alright, but you're rich, Mr. Raven. <laughs> With this here and the fountain. Hey, Mr. Raven, there you go, a gold coin. Please save my soul. <laughs> it's the Raven's retirement fund. <laughs> Okay, how he hasn't bled out yet, I don't know. But I think we know of a way to uh, identify which of the emblems is the correct one. What the fuck is... Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, those pig... Don't open that chest. Open the other one. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid oh, the yeah. ah, that one. Cheese. E. What the heck? Really, it even has a stitch on ass. Okay, I can't Wait. tell if it's trying. Okay, it's not trying to get to me. I think slash oh, hope. No. Oh, there's another. Are these pigs all? Or, or is this what the other guy might turn, might turn into? Maybe if he gets yep, caught. Fucking worms. Three candles. Is there anything over this way? Yes, there is. Oh, this was More candles. Hmm. Uh, hello. Why is my house here? Oh, okay. No. Uh, what's the cobalt or uh, K O B O L D as in the creatures, uh, Marco? Yeah, what was it? Uh, you're talking about a metal when you spell it with a T at the end. Mom, open up, Mom. That's odd. Might be locked. Uh, is this just one big fucking mimic? Hmm. Lucrens. Wait. Uh, Wait, is... Is our mother Lucrenzia? It's like our will back at home. But this here stinks. But if she is, how did she get out? Are we... 
Are we then technically actually Lucanor's offspring? Or grandchild? Grandchild slash son, since, well... Maybe? Okay, they, oh, yeah, they, they don't even have eyesight. They have no eyes, so... I think we should be good as long as they don't actually touch us. Emblem. But is it... That's the right one, I think. The, this one isn't... The ring isn't reacting. And it should... Yeah, it should turn thing. It should turn red when. <clears throat> Pardon. Now, <clears throat> food, nom. Yeah, let go. How do you get in my pants? I want food. We're not getting any food, you darn creature. The food I got is meant for me. No. No what? Give me food, nom. All right. I think I'm wasting my time talking to him. I'll keep him in the backpack. Later, I might find some use for this. Whatever this is. Okay. So, oh. hold on a freaking second. I don't have anything to activate, but we can't just force it with the crowbar. I just, I just realized that now, seeing that we have well something that could function as a lever. Okay, that middle one is always active. Risky to push that in small flames. It, it it does stay off for quite a bit. There. Okay. Oh, lovely. Why do you put a candle there? Just in case we're going to get chased or anything. I was thinking of a sense. This is very well lit in this nope. area. I just noticed the uh, spikes in the wall there, so I'm not going to fall for that. Actually, can these block the spikes or something? Okay, push on through, just in time. Okay, to get that out box, we need to push those down. Okay, retreated further than I needed, but okay. Yep, two coins. Okay, two saves, but I don't think we'll need saves that much. Oop, almost walked too early. Hmm. So much for getting ready to try to, to do, kiss it regularly, but you took this <laughs> off. Oh, good gods. Where's the creature? There's the creature. Okay. Hopefully it won't see us here. I can't tell if there's a pattern to its movements or if it's just going random. I think it's just randomly trying to go from one spot to the other. Oop, those are spikes. I almost yeah, confused it for a grate. I think that probably filled in the gap leading up. This is a hiding spot for if the beast is chasing us. No. And the good thing I put those candles there to see if it was coming down here or not. Yeah. I don't like the sound that it makes.
Okay, I think it was trying to get at us. Pick up, pick up. Okay. Nope. There. Okay, wait for it to pass by. And I'm guessing that lever raised this, yes? Okay. Some more candles. And that will have raised most likely the path to the emblem. Hopefully, and was it? Hopefully, up there, next to it up there. Hmm. Wait, it's not the fire. It's a chest that we oh. already grabbed. Yeah, but it turned off the fire here. Okay. The spikes are probably still going to be active. And again, there's that... Is there something we're missing? There. Something that we could use in, in ch exchange for... For uh, a lever. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to hope that this is not a fake one. There doesn't seem to really be any other... Oh. Okay, so this still... This works in the mimics as well. There. And I was correct. Also, well, it was the only one that we had. Uh, hello. This part is a different, has a different soil and it gets light from above. I better tell JF. Okay. We supposed to grow something there? You're still not bled out. I've opened the door. Who are you? Get off, you monster, or I'll cut you to pieces. Easy, easy, it me, Hans. We talked a while earlier. Don't you remember? Hans? Hans, that name. My son is called Hans, too. Excuse me, my friend. I was delirious. I think I've lost a lot of bloods. Do you have to... Uh, have you got the right emblem? Yes, I have. I've placed the emblem and a door has opened in the wall. Can we go out now? We're really close to going, my friend. According to the information I've got on the dungeons, the room you've opened gets to the castle through the ceiling. That's our way out. Hmm. But how are we going to get out there? Take this. A red seed? It's a magic seed. You'll need it to plant in that room and water it. That way it'll grow to the top. I understand. I'll plant the seed in the room and I water it. This looks easy. I'll take care of it. Once the plant has grown, come back to me and we'll leave together. I trust you. Uh, do we... No, we don't have the water buckets. Okay, I'm guessing if we had the water buckets, this would have actually been... We could have actually sped this up. There we go. Okay. So we're probably down a tier from the best ending anyways now. So that might be his dad? Maybe, yeah. Okay. There, planting the red seeds. Now it's planted. Now I have to water it to grow. Uh, pardon? Hmm. Is there anywhere here, or is this just a plain dead end? Because we I have nothing to water it with. Yeah, if you are somehow s soft locked from this, I'd be annoyed. Yeah, uh, let's see. It cries like a baby. Wait, is this what his bin is going to become? No, <laughs> he he's just cursed to be uh, come a pig during the day. And Mark is going to sleep. See ya. Sleep well. See, I planted the seed, but nothing happens. Of course, you still got to water it. Go look for water. 
Mm. Oh, there's plenty of blood. And I don't think that is going to be good if we water it with that. Hmm. Well, some plants like blood, like... There are plants that are t intentionally funny to trap animals so they die and drench the ground with blood and all that. Yeah. We haven't gone in here. Probably the fake one. Yeah, that's the fake one. But is there anything in here that we can use to get water? Oh, hello. Hello, lever. I think that just unleashed the creature. Okay. Nothing in here. Two apples. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Try the well near your house. Actually, yeah. Yeah, good idea, more We almost forgot that. A gold coin, a mimic. Hmm. It's probably not going to be good water, though. And that's that just a big ass spell circle here. Hmm. Wait, are these flesh? Go oh, they are not pigs. They are. Yeah, they're flesh golems. Oh, good gods. Hmm. Yeah, this probably. W this probably would have gone better if we had the water buckets. But blood buckets. Yeah, it's full of bloods. Well, who knows? It might come in handy to grow the seeds. Yeah. Oh, no! We're good. Now I'm full. Bro, you scared the hell out of me. Why are you out of the backpack? Go back inside. No. You better behave or I'm showing you into that, in that well over there. Don't mind me saying, you'll probably like that. No. All right, what do you want to eat? I haven't got much. A chestnut? No. Some fruit? An apple, maybe? No. Blimey bread? No. Well, forget about it. You're not getting the cheese. Sweets? Numb. Sweets? I don't have any. Even if I had, I wouldn't share them with you. Sweets? You're a tiresome worm. Go back in the backpack. Come on, you'll get sweets later. Hmm. I don't think there's anywhere we could have gotten sweets. Let's see. Yeah, Marco knew it. No, I would not be surprised that if we had a bucket of water, things would go well. But now, now yeah, I'm we... worried that something bad will happen because of that. It probably will. Uh, yeah. Uh. uh... Lose the blood. I hope this works. Mm, nothing happened. It might take some time for it to grow. Well, that's just great. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, now it's a giant thorn. I. Pretty sure it probably would have been a beanstalk if we fed it normal water. That would make it easier to climb. Since it'd be hard yeah. to impale yourself on those when cl Oh. And he's bled out. Sir, sir, wake up. He's dead. There's something shining in his hands. A rusty key. That's odd. His key is really similar to my home's. What was that? Mom? And the music changed. Hey, Mr. Raven. There you go. A gold coin. Please save my soul. Okay. Well. I think we know what that means. 
We can either go climb the thorn, or the, the thorn thing, or uh, this is lit up now. It, uh, we go to the home. Uh, I don't think I... Yeah, this is lit up way more than it was earlier. Use the F ski. Oh. Mom? Yeah, this is all an illusion at best. Mom, wake up! Mom! Son. Mom, what's wrong? What are you doing here? Hush, my dear. I'm fine. When you left, I was so sad that I got sick. But now you've come back, I'll be alright really soon. But how did you get to the castle? Why is our house here? Castle? What do you mean, son? Count Lucanor's castle. Have you met a count in your journey? Blimey, <laughs> you've become an important person, my child. No, I haven't, Mom. Hey, look at what I've made for you. It's a birthday cake. Thanks, Mom. You were so upset when you left that I decided to sell some things and bought honey, flour, and eggs so you could have a nice surprise when you returned. This is all a trap. It wasn't necessary, Mom. I was such a fool for leaving. I was upset, but I'm not anymore. But we can't stay here. You've got, to, uh, you've got to come with me. I feel weak, my dear. Let's wait for a while. Why don't you t taste the cake? Uh, yeah, this is a trap. Ring. Hans, are you leaving? I guess you're old and you don't need your mom anymore. Yeah, eating the eight biting that is going to be a bad uh, ending. Yo, hold on. Wait, it's not reacting. So it's just a poisoned cake, not an illusion. Where do you want to go? Do you want to leave me alone again? No, I don't. Mom, I don't mean that. Yeah, we're. Food. You again? Sweets. I want sweets. The cake! You said you wanted sweets, didn't you? Alright, then here you go. You've used the worm with the cake. Sweets, nom nom nom. Hey, easy, you don't want to choke, do you? And it's dead. Oopsie. What's wrong, Mr. Worm? It became a butterfly? No, that ugly worm has become a butterfly. Don't touch it, it's mean. It'll hurt you badly. Let it go, my dear. Feed the worm from the depths. A bit late on that. Yeah, this is a... Hmm. Okay, step forwards towards a good ending again. Mom? It... So you just came back to steal my treasure, didn't you? I won't let you leave with it. Uh... You're, you're Lucrenzia, aren't you? This looks really, really bad. I have to catch that butterfly and climb the plants. It, oh, great. Where did the butterfly go? There it is. Come here, you. Okay, you butterfly-shaped jewel. Whoa, the butterfly turned into a jewel the moment I caught it. Oops, you better leave this place at once. Okay, yeah. this must be Lucrenzia. Brown jewel. Okay, get up that thing. First off, though... There. This is going to hurt. I'm finally leaving. You, you little blue bastards. Whoa, my legs are shaking. Welcome, sire. No, oh, no, you again. Sire, please accept my sincere apologies. I'm terribly sorry for not having explained in detail the last part of the trial. Leave me alone. I don't believe a word you say. I just want to leave this place. I don't want to be rich or count or anything. 
I never intended to lie, hide information, or be rude to you, sire. I was only following the Count's commands. Please accept my apology, sire. Without further ado, I would like you to follow me, so I can introduce you to my master, the Count. He awaits in the hall. It'll be one of your tricks. I promise the trials are over. Will you please follow me, sire? Okay, so we have a choice here. We follow... Okay, we follow. There's no other choice. Will you follow me, sire? It's not like we have a choice. <laughs> Rat bastards. The humble red Carmen Lengo is at the tiny mousy mouse's feet. <laughs> Can we talk to any of these? No. And this is all an illusion. Hans, my grandkid, give me a hug. What? Will you look at you? You're so big. I haven't seen you since you were a toddler. How old are you? 14? 15? I'm 10. Only 10? You look like a grown man. Wait a minute, are you really my grandpa? I don't know who you are. Oh yes, excuse me, Hans. I was so happy that I forgot to tell you. Ten years ago, my daughter Lucrenzia, your ma, met your dad, Josef Fry. They married without my consent and had a son. That's you, Hans. Lucrenzia is my mom? Indeed, Lucrenzia, my daughter. Your father had to go to war. When he returned, he tried to pr prove he was worthy of the role by tackling the ca castle trials. Was he the soldier down there? Yes, that was him. He almost succeeded. Now he has my respect for his great courage and honor. God, I'm oblivious. It was you, Hans, who solved all the riddles, avoided all traps, and bravely caved to me and came to me. You are the new Count Lucanor. But <laughs> son, you are blood of my blood. Besides, you deserve it most, as you have tackled the trials. What about mom? And my dog Spittle? So I'm not ever coming back home? Your mother will be here soon, and we can ha also bring your dog if you want. But Hans, do you really think you're going to miss that filthy house of yours? Someone like you deserves to live in the great, a great castle. Sit on the throne, Hans. Become the new Count Lucanor. Hmm, I don't trust those two at all. There are more holes in the explanation than in a Swiss cheese. So Lucrenzia is my mom? The creepy crawly I left down there? No way. I'm not sitting in the throne until I found out and find out the truth behind all this. Yeah, Hans is proving to be a lot smarter now than he seems it was before. Congratulations, sire. The trial has ended. You proved to be worthy of the throne. Now sit and relax. Now, part of me still thinks that all of this is just Hans dreaming and having a big ass nightmare. I think I got lost in your explanation. <laughs> sit, son, and I'll explain everything to you. Yet I really want Hans to sit down. You must be exhausted after the trial, sire. I don't know anybody, but they seem happy to see me. And where did all these people come from? Hmm. Look what I found in the depths of the castle. Ah, the royal butterfly is the symbol of Count Lucanor and a unique piece of jewelry. Now that you are the new Count, you may have this and many other jewels, sire. His butterfly came from a worm that had a piece of cake. Oh, the royal butterfly is the symbol of our family. Keep it. It belongs to you. Hmm. I show it to him. He might. No. Okay. Ah, Count Lucanor is a fraud. What are you saying, Hans? The snake ring tells me you are a fraud. You're not the true Count Lucanor. Oh, please. Darned old woman and darned magic ring. Just as you were about to sit. Wait a moment. You've got to, uh, to explain all of this. Where do I start? Hundreds of years ago, the true Count Lucanor commanded me to find an heir, as he had no offspring. So I prepared the trials and challenges in the castle. Young men from all kingdoms heeded the Count's call. 
so they covered it for they coveted his vast fortune none of them managed to tackle the trials so yeah all of that was a lot of bullshit about him being his grandson so why didn't you prepare an easier test that's what i suggested to the count but he was really stubborn he wanted the best of the best years went by and no one succeeded the count aged and got sick as he was facing death and had no heir he feared i might choose some useless human being for a role Thus, before he died, he called a witch in the woods and commanded her to curse both me and the castle. Did he force you to stay here for life? Yeah, yeah, Marco, I fucking knew it. And yeah, no, thus is lying. This is lying with a great passion. No, he didn't. Instead, he bound me forever. I will only be free when someone tackles all, all trials. And I have tackled them. You have. I have welcomed countless knights, thieves, fortune seekers, soldiers, or mere curious people every night for the past centuries. And the only one who managed to tackle all trials was a ten-year-old poor kid. Unbelievable. So the people I've met tonight, all the things about my family, my father, my mother, the curse was playing tricks with your memories. It's all lies. I've got a final question. What would happen if I sat in the throne? My curse would be over, as I would have completed my task. But you'd be trapped in the castle forever. Forever? Well, that's just great. But you'd be rich, of course, and you could use the money as you pleased. I thought you were sick of being poor. Yes, that's true. But what about my mom? If you decided to be the new count and set me free, I'd owe you, and, well, we could make some sort of deal. You already know everything I know. Now it's your call. If you want to put an end to my curse, you should sit in the throne. On the contrary, if you want to leave, there's the ex an exit behind it. Just push the throne and you'll be outside. Okay, and we can't save. Oop. I didn't believe a thing. Discover the truth in the throne hall. Yeah, I, I don't buy it. Oop. Come on, get lost. It's been nice meeting you, Hans. You too, Petronio. Goodbye. This is it probably another trap? Or not? Okay. Safe soul. Out my head. Okay, was all of that and just a dream? <laughs> I'm back. I made it out of the castle. Was everything a dream? That raven again. What does he want? Hey, Mr. Raven. I've got a headache. What do you want? Do you want me to see the tombstone? Uh, all right, all right. Let's see the inscription. This isn't going to be good. But Joseph Frey. Joseph Frey is the name of my dad. So, my dad's dead. Mom always told me Dad was fighting the war and he'd come back someday. I was ex I was ex actually expecting that to be uh, his mother's grave. Hmm. A fist? A candle. There's a note. I discovered the count in the legend of Count Lucanor on my way back home. I just couldn't get there empty-handed. Signed by J.F. But you still have the Yule. This is a really old tomb. It's so worn I can't read the name. Did we... Did we stumble into the best ending somehow? Really old tomb? Yeah, for... Really old tomb. You still have the Yule. Yeah. This could hmm. be so... Hmm. You might Oop. have it. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you just did you just stop for a second upon seeing the goat? Of what you did. <laughs> and yes, Marco ducks. Hello. He's sleeping soundly. I better leave him be. Oh yeah. I started laughing, laughing, but I thought you were about to panic when you saw the goat. <laughs> oh, hello. 
All those above 15 shall report to the... Yeah, we've read that. Hey, kiddo. We're looking for young men to go to war. Do you know anybody? Anyone? Him? Um, there are only old men and kids around here. We better go to the village. Hey, and you don't know who's taking care of these goats, do you? These goats take care of themselves, sir. <laughs> that bullshit smile again. Give them bread. I, I don't think we can give the ducks bread, but it would be funny if we could. Nor should you give them bread. And the goats are on their own. Yeah, we're covering for the goat herds. Ah, the merchants. Different merchant. It seems they've sent someone to pick up yesterday's mess. Can we... That's a nice horse, but where's the donkey gone? Hmm. The donkey free to roam for itself? I mean, hello. hello? Spittle! Have you come to look for me? Thank you, Spittle. I'm so happy to see you. Hey, have you taken care of Mom, as I told you? Had a boy. All right, then. Let's go see her. She will be worried. Hmm. I'm half expecting them to rug pull us. Just say that everything has gone to shit somehow anyways. Hmm? Zowie, it's the merchant. You just had to say it, Hill. It, was, it, went, it went horrible for someone. But he, we gave him the gold to repay his master, so did he do this himself? There's a sign. It reads, Thief. Mm. Then again, the witch did say that he was a thief and a kidnapper, so maybe this is for the yeah. best? Also, the spittle is stuck. Also, <laughs> don't forget, he was, a, was very panicky at one moment, yeah. uh, asking if someone was ask, talking or asking about him. Then we were in the castle. Yeah, that spittle catched up, caught up. I guess someone found him. There's the deer. Hmm. There's the old woman, with again a broken cane, but no pig. Hello, son. You haven't seen my pig, have you? I was on my way to the market, but he left running all uh, he left running all the way up. He really likes the woods. I can't tell why. I'm sorry, I haven't seen it. Uh, how tiring this pig can be. It's worse than the sun. <laughs> oh wait, we're a sun. Hmm. Hangman's Woods. Charming names. Hmm. Oh. Uh, hello. Hmm. Okay. There's oh, there's the donkey. Okay. Mr. Donkey, have you come to stay with us? I'll take it as a yes. Can we Don't feed you one last time? Have an apple, Mr. Donkey. <laughs> oh, it seems he won't poop any more gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm a crude humor, but works in this case. Mom. Hans. Come to me, kid. Mom, forgive me. You were right. I'm still too young to leave home. Don't you worry, my dear. I'll never disobey, and I'll help with the housekeeping. And I won't ask you about that ever again. Son, about your father. There's something you need to know. I already know, Mom. I've seen his grave in the woods. Joseph died at war when you were a baby. I didn't want to tell you. Forgive me, son. 
That contradicts things. The, the, the note said that he died on the way back, or... Maybe she was... She was told a lie, or... Part... Hmm... What... All that happened in the castle... I think it was is in a bit of flux. Like, it happened, and yet it actually didn't happen. Like, something with the curse, probably. Or maybe it was all a dream, but we have the gem. Plus so, yeah. Error. Hmm. I'm fine, Mom. Don't worry about me. I'm already 10, don't you remember? Would you like to see what I've brought from my adventure? Sure, show me. Alright, then. I've got three chestnuts. We can have them roasted for dinner. It's so cold at night. We can warm our hands with them. I only have this apple. All right then. We'll have it for dinner. It'll be delicious. I've got four pieces of bread here. We can use them to have toast for breakfast some days in a row. They're delicious. I think this is a bit of a grading about how we're, we did. Look, I brought three pieces of cheese. Well, well, if we have all, all this cheese, we'll end up having a rat face. <laughs> I also have a handful of corn. Perhaps I could prepare some popcorn. It's delicious. I've also collected this crowbar. I got it from a goat herd. It's really useful. Right on. It'll come in handy if we need to do some home repairs. Uh, look, I've brought 12 candles. <laughs> they were everywhere. <laughs> Blimey, I don't know what to do with so many candles. We could sell them in the village, or even open a store. <laughs> Look, Mom, a magic ring. I got it from a lady in exchange for the cane. Well, maybe it doesn't work anymore. What's this? It look This looks priceless, Hans. We could get some good money if we sell it in the Vikings market. I've also got eight gold coins. That's a lot of money, son. I'm really proud of you. I hope, though, you haven't stolen this. Yeah, haven't, have you? And look, this jewel was hidden in a nasty dungeon. Whoa, but, but this is priceless, son. Hey, I hope you haven't stolen this, have you? But truth is, if we sell the jewel, all our money troubles would be over. And this is it. I don't have anything else. Blimey, that's a lot of things. I believe we could use this to buy some sweets in the village? What do you say? As long as it's enough cake. <laughs> hey! Why was it ice gluing red? Ending poor, but have but what was that? Ending poor, but I don't think we ended poor. Oh. Yeah, met the on Hans help with the housekeeping, the and although they were never rich, they lived happily ever after. But, so the castle is there. Okay, what what did you say about red eyes? Yeah, when he jumped up and down, he, his eyes turned from black to red. Hmm. Did I think he had something? Accidentally made her with a blinking error. Maybe. But that is unending. Okay. Hmm. Alright then. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll look up. Hmm? Yeah, that, that was a good ending. Maybe not the best, perhaps, but we'll find out right now because on TV Tropes, let me just find in page. Ending. Uh, ta -da -da -da. Because there's there's a multiple endings trope, and that will have all of them listed. Let's see, there's a lot of spoiled stuff here down there. Yeah. So, the spoiled, uh, spoiled as in uh, hidden away so it isn't spoiled. Let's see. Golden ending happens in one ending where Hans finds Count Lucanor's secret treasure. I'm not going to click that one yet. I will check it out after we've read the multiple endings. Here we are. Okay. The first one is called the Cobalt's Trick. Let's see. Hans does not see through the fake count and falls for Petronio's ploy, becoming the new count. He is trapped in the castle forever, and while he has fun with his new life, he loses all memories of his previous life. Okay, so that is... yeah. Next we have Pact with the Cobalt. 
Hans exposes Petronio's lies, but agrees, agrees to become the new Count anyway in order to end the curse. In return, the now human Petronio is convinced to donate the Count's wealth to Hans' mother, saving her from poverty, but Hans and his mother can still never see each other again. I would consider that a medium bad one. Yeah, more... Uh, it's a sad ending almost, more like. Yeah. Then we have the one we got here, poor but happy. Hans rejects the throne and Petronio begrudgingly but respectfully lets him leave. He goes back to his dirt poor home with only whatever food and unused quest items he has in his treasure in his inventory, but he and his mother and dog are reunited. He gets opportunities to save the goat herd from the war draft and convince the old woman to stop abusing her pig, and his mother is happy with whatever he brought back. Okay. Then we have wealth without uh, answers. Okay, and the next one tells us that that's... Okay, the last one here is going to be the golden ending. Let's see, wealth without answers. Uh, Hans rejects the throne and leaves the castle without learning the truth of what was going on. Everything plays out much like poor, or, uh, much like poor but happy, except that he returns to the castle, finds a secret entrance, and uses his new jeweled butterfly to open the Count's tomb and find the treasure. Hans takes enough to make his mother rich and optionally leaves the truth for uh, leaves the, uh, the rest for Guiliana or Guiliana. I still have no idea how to say that name who rewards him with a treasure hunter's certifi certificate. The mystery of the castle becomes infamous, and many see uh, people subsequently visited seeking King Ansys, but none are ever heard of again. Okay, and I'm presuming this is the golden ending. Prosperous future. Hans learns the truth and rejects Petronio's offer of a deal. Everything plays out much like wealth without answers, except that Hans and his mother use their wealth to find a witch who can break the castle's curse, presumably freeing Petronio and bu then buy the castle itself and live happily ever after, after. Okay. Now I wonder how we would have gotten to that one. Uh, let's see. Golden ending. Da -da -da. Hmm. Okay, I wonder how we would have found that then. I'm guessing the butterfly would have been used to open up something. But I didn't see any... Hmm, we, we probably would have... Probably if we had the water bucket, we could have uh, gotten to that instead uh, of the, well, the bloodthorn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Still, it was still enjoyable. A, a bit of a pain in the ass with having to guess his freaking name and only finding out uh, through not not through trial and error, but through uh, hmm. yeah, not a bad game. But I would have liked it if it'd been more obvious with the hints. Or hmm. uh, I, I, I I, I'm not sure how to say it really. To be a game where you use your noggin, uh, brain a lot. Because it became a little bit, uh, much, instead. Yeah, then, I, I guess it's just a thing with uh, it being a survival horror game, more on the, not really full trial and error, but we found out about the clue to getting the kobold's name after we could have gotten it. So, yeah, that had to, that forced a restart. I, I was probably overthinking it a bit, but... Yeah, it, it was. It's not bad. It's just uh, a bit frustrating with that bit. Mm. Huh? And yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing overhearing him talk about himself is probably the best and perhaps only real way of getting the name without just trial and error guessing. So yeah, I think that's. I think the. I think that the game is nudging you. Is nudging you towards just finding out about the clue and overhearing him instead of just wasting time upon time upon time to uh, <clears throat> to try and guess it which is at random so <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll, on that bit I'll just say that I'm neutral but on the rest of the game I, I enjoyed it it's not really a full on horror fest but still creepy and just what the fuckery stuff yeah it this is a good game for Halloween, for it is spooky and scary. Yeah. Not, right, scary, but not 
horror, if that makes sense. Yeah. And let's see. Mm, I don't think we'll. I don't think we will pick up Yuppie Psycho at any time. Like there are. Pe it is quite lengthy, actually. It, it is also good. So I would suggest. And plus, I already know everything that's going on in that game, or most of it, from my, what I can remember. Uh, but yeah, it would be interesting to see what game they would come up with next. Because let's see, it was. It's four years since the last time they released a game. So either they uh, dissolved, or they're working on something for, well, longer. Yeah. Mm. Well, sometimes you may, you want some extra time, man. Let's not forget. Pandemic. Yeah. That's a, okay. That thing has been very good at delaying things, or making things worse. Definitely. <laughs> okay, and we actually finished good on time, 10 minutes early. So, yeah. uh, what is this? I was to say that, I kind of surprised by it. Okay, <laughs> I saw that there was a, an at everyone somewhere, but it's about a birthday, not about uh, sound the alarms bullshit is going on. Anyways, let's have a look at the list of people to raid. We raided Nico recently, so they're off the list. We have Reef the Leaf with Mega Man Battle Network 2. I really should pick oh, up no. those games myself sometime. That's the old Lord of the Fallen game. <laughs> Next to the new Lord of the Fallen. Hmm. Uh, yeah, he's he's talking about the uh, categories on the Twitch main page. Uh, yeah, what the heck is with that? Or is it just two ver no RPG action, no, no. RPG they, they adventure? Like, the new one is more Dark Souls like the other one is more action like. With okay. a more heavy story and all. Hmm. Now, you now you can see why I talked about it in a, a bit confused tone. Now yeah, you can that see also why explains I why I thought I heard of it beforehand. Same. And hmm. now I know I was not crazy. Like, how did this happen? Mm. No clue. But yeah, moving on, we have Swalbe who is playing Kenshi. Which apparently is getting back into a bit of uh, popularity recently. Uh, Zine, oh, Ven is online with Tiny Lands. We haven't seen them in forever. Let me I see. I don't remember their name. They might be surprised hmm. if this is one of those people that you talked about before I could see you do this. Yeah, it's, I don't, I, they haven't... I haven't seen them in months, I think, or yeah, my, my memory it's unreliable. But I'd say they they have a good chance of being raided here, it's just from the sheer amount of time it's been. Severus is playing Far Cry 6. I do want to play some of the Far Cry games eventually, but just not all of them. Uh, Redacted Cat is again or still playing? Yeah, again playing. Oh, oh they <laughs> they just ended the stream. Okay. Uh, Lazarus is playing Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando, I'm guessing, from the G? Yeah, Going Commando. <laughs> WBPL is playing Bulletstorm full clip. Bulletstorm is still on our to-do list as well. What the heck is that? Uh, A full-barrel shotgun? Yep. <laughs> because double isn't enough. Uh, Halloween is playing Lies of Pi. Touch Scaly Tail is playing Party Animals. And that's about it for our typical range. So, uh, go say hi to the alien then. I was thought it was supposed to be an alien or a fairy. Uh, or they supposed to be an alien or fairy. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I think... Hmm. I might be I might be completely wrong here, but I think I first heard of Zinebe through the real John, as in the the one who re most recently sub uh, not subscribed followed. I don't have subscriptions, but I, I might be wrong on that. Like my memory is already shoddy. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, rate them then. Yeah, let's rate them. Okay, then we. Go back, slash raid, and paste the copied name. But before we go, two things, actually. Let me see. We have a good amount of games ready now that we are done with Lucanor. 
and we have dead lights we have dead bolts we have whispering willows and mythargia which of those shall we uh, pick up next time as our second side quest I'm leaning towards Whispering to Willows myself. Any of them. <laughs> okay. Well, I remember the names, but when I try to remember images from them, that's where I go blank. Well, the, the fun thing is, is that all four of them are 2D. That's, I think... Well, that helps a bit. And <laughs> we, sta we started we, we did a few months ago. Yeah. This was a bit of hmm. camera and all the goopy stuff. Let's see. I'd say Whispering Willows then, because I already know Deadlight and Deadbolt. Whispering Willows will be new for me, so I'm curious to see what will go on with that. Whispering Willows it is. And also you said something, I think you said something wrong, uh, weird earlier. Uh, what then? I think you said, before we go, instead of before we go. <laughs> I'm not trusting mm. myself there, but I would not be surprised if you did say that. <laughs> Pardon? Considering Ugh. all the codes we've been seeing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> now, anyways, then. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. We will continue with Dawn of War 2 on Tuesday and Thursday. Maybe something for multiplayer Wednesday. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and get Beanie to... Uh, w <clears throat> I did a multiplayer thing with Beanie recently on Friday, where we were playing Barrow Drummer together, not on stream, but I'll see if I can get... I can, well, I'll see if I convince him and the others we played with to try and make that a more... Uh, to, yeah, a, mere, <clears throat> a more regular thing. That's what I was trying to say. And maybe I'll stream that on my end. With the recording that I made, I forgot to actually add in the microphone as a source. So none, none of the stuff that I was saying was recorded on that. But I fixed I that. Mm. But yeah, maybe I'll stream that. Maybe I'll just record it. And uh, we'll see if I get head humped by the fucking captain again <laughs> as they try. A hard emphasis on try to give CPR to me as the medic. <laughs> I need to upload that clip still, but yeah. For now, though, uh, yeah. Thank you, everyone who's been watching now or later. Thank you, Ma Random Marco. Let's see if there's anyone else in chat at the moment. I see our typical lurker is here. Hello, Sensei. Hello. And yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, Dawn of War, maybe multiplayer stuff, and we'll continue on with the Dark Side Detective, and we will get started on Whispering Willows next weekend. But for now, until then, thank you all again for watching. Uh, let's start that uh, raid. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls and monstrous goats. And blue kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> do too.